Hello maths fans, I'm Dr Tom Crawford, a mathematician at the University of Oxford and the University of Cambridge, and today I'm going to be reacting to animation versus coding. This will be the fourth video from Alan Becker that I will be reacting to, and as usual, this is my first time watching through the video, so everything you see will be my real-time live reaction. So far, we've had animation versus math and animation versus geometry, which, being a mathematician, were very much inside my comfort zone. Then there was animation versus physics, which was a little trickier, but fortunately, as I teach courses in quantum theory and relativity, I could generally follow what was going on. Today, however, we are of course looking at coding, and I am not a computer scientist. To be honest, I can't even really code, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Let's see what we've got. Okay, flashing underscore. Chilling with a fake Mac, obviously. Now, a few of you pointed this out, this isn't orange stickman, this is yellow with full head stickman. So I'm going to assume this is a different character. So now we have yellow stickman. I'm sure it has a real name and I'm sure you'll all tell me in the comments, but interesting observation. I wonder if orange stickman, the second coming, now I know his name, is going to appear. I guess we'll find out. Oh, hello world, come on. Oh no, <laughs> name error. Interesting. I thought we were gonna get Hello World. Print. Print Hello World. Gotta type something in the brackets. Ah. Now we get a print high. And another one. And it keeps replacing them. Interesting. Now he's figured out to get three. And now numbers. This is more like it. Add, minus, multiply, divide. Very good. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. First little bit there of actual code, I think. A equals three dash dash two. Print A. So three forward slash forward slash two is giving you one. So it's not divide. Is it like subtract two? So is it like count down by two? Maybe. Countdown. Nice. So is it like reduce three by the amount of two? That would make sense. I feel like forward slash, the double forward slash means something. Brain is not quite remembering exactly what that means. But it's definitely not divide. Oh, unless it's div no, it can't be divide and divide again. That's nonsense. So I think it reduces your counter by two, but might be misremembering. But interesting. Okay, three plus two, string. B plus ing. Oh god, what are we doing? Ah, uh, interesting. Type error. So I get that. So B is the word string. A is a number, so is an integer, an int, I think, if I remember my different types of variable correctly. So you can't print a string plus an int. That's why he's getting his error. I know, apparently I know some code. Now it's converted A to a string, and then can print it, yeah. Now we calculate the length, very good. Oh, 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 okay. A is now a string. B is A square brackets with nothing inside. Okay, so I think we're trying to get a property of the string here, maybe. Um, but there's a syntax error, of course. So let's see where this is going to go. A0 is S. A1 is T, right? It's counting through characters, yeah. Now we've got our first for loop. Now we're getting going. And naturally the laptop's running away. Oh, I hope it's a battle, like with math. Oh God, now it's barking. Brilliant. In capitals. Okay, 
a lot just happened there, but it's saying whilst a is a digit, print a in upper case. So of course, a is not a digit, so that's why it's getting an error and it's not printing. Now it works. Let me change it. When a, oh God. <laughs> While not a dot is printable. Okay. Ad break. Oh, flinging bombs now, laptop. We're gonna fight again, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, very nice. Import turtle, shoot turtle forwards. So turning into a battle, this is great. I loved animation versus math where we were fighting with the E number. Uh, and I feel like he's now fighting the laptop. This is great, love it. Now we're gonna control the direction of the turtle. Yep, cool. <laughs> I can hit him. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Ooh. So we are... Or, I should say we. The Mac, the fake Mac that he's fighting here, is now controlling the directions of the turtle and is causing this kind of spiky wave and this is now chasing him. Okay, this is cool. So far I'm okay with this. We are just inputting commands to control the turtle to attack yellow stickman. Nearly said orange. Yellow stickman. Oh god, okay. A lot happened there. Import string as ammo, gun equals list ammo. ASCII uppercase. Okay, so ASCII is the alphabet where you can uh, type in a number to represent uh, letters and symbols and various other things. I'll put the ASCII alphabet on screen for you now so you can see what that looks like because I can't remember it. So we're firing, I think the idea is here, the laptop is shooting letters. It's like an ASCII gun and it's shooting them at yellow stick now. Okay. And they're all uppercase, obviously. Pen size fastest, so we're making it thicker. Making it faster, yup. Oh, now he's shooting him again. Strapped to his leg. It's actually like a dog, isn't it? Ah, turtle.by to get rid of the turtle, very good. More guns, more letters being shot. Very nice. Oh, I noticed there, the letters are being shot in reverse alphabetical order, I think. There was like an E and then a D and then a B, C, A. I think, um, I could rewind and check, but we want to do this properly, right? I think that's what I saw is that it's counting backwards through the alphabet with them all being capitals because it was set as ASCII uppercase, I think. Okay. And now we're doing a MATLAB plot. Of course we are. <laughs> right. I think it was random integers. We're shooting values at Okay, we've changed the random integers, so the graph changed. Yes, we are doing random ints. Cool. And now it's basically like a platform game. <laughs> and now we've changed from a bar chart to a... Ooh, is that like a box plot? Or maybe it's the value with an error bar. Um, I guess we'll see in a moment. Error bar! It's showing the error bars, there we go. Called that before it happened. And these bounce, naturally. Oh, what's the red line? Plotting a red line, yeah, cool. Title, <laughs> pick it. Rotate it, yeah, move it forward, very good. Oh, that was a nice little, I think it was, it wasn't quite a loop, was it? There was some kind of like addition of various integers there and counting up through N and like shooting that kind of like pyramid shape which is very clever. Um, and now I, I, I've paused it and now I can see there's a cosine coming. So let's see what the cos looks like. It's gonna be like a slide, isn't it? Come on. Now we're shooting the stars, the asterisk. Yeah, very good. Import pi game, okay. <laughs> right, so there's a block. 
I'm assuming Pi Game is famous. Never played it, but... Right, some controls for the Pi Game. Okay, so now we're controlling the block. That must be Pi Game. Okay. Pressing all the various keys. Yeah, to control the block. Sure. Ooh. Oh. Okay, lots happening here. Circles, circles, screen fill. Where's the circle coming from? There we go. Okay. Now we have a circle coming at him. So, I don't know if this feature of the game, but I'm noticing there the block, the square, can only move up, down, left, and right. It's very rigid. It's like tracked by the axes. But the circle was kind of moving diagonally and had more flow to the movement of the circle. Now, I don't know if that's on purpose, if that's how the game works, but I'm imagining that longer bit of code was saying that the circle will kind of move more freely compared to the very pixelated movement of the block. So much easier to try and catch Yellow Stickman, apparently. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna try and hit the X and close it. Let's see. That'll be my tactic here. Try and hit the X. Yellow stick, mum. Or, or use the laptop, that could work. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> star. So he added a star there to where it said circle. So I'm gonna guess that maybe makes it disappear. At least on the screen it disappeared, so I wonder whether that's like a cancel, that's like a not this kind of logical operator, perhaps. Um, almost like, maybe it's like commenting it out, I'm not quite sure, but it feels like it made it vanish, so something happened there. Okay, now we've got like a proper explosive gun. Now we're shooting the ASCII letters as fireworks, naturally. Like. Again, I'm, I'm not a coder, but there's surely there is no way that that code that's just written means it shoots alphabet-shaped fireworks that then explode. Like, I love it, and it looks great, but surely that is not the actual code to create ASCII-shaped fireworks. I'm sure someone watching this can tell me the actual code for that, and if you can, let me know in the comments, because I, I want to run that code. I want to actually shoot letter-shaped fireworks. All right, so he's got hold of the laptop. Print nuke. Oh god, this sounds terrifying. Run. <laughs> nice syntax error. Uh-oh. Commented it out. Very good. Now we have the nuke made of numbers. Oh, again. I want to see code to make a new grade of numbers. That's beautiful. It's great. Unfortunately, it's got in mode. Fireball explosion. He's trapped in the mushroom cloud. The shockwave throwing him away. Where are we going to end up? In the wreckage, the ruin of the nuke. The number nuke. Okay. Go back to that. I wonder if the laptop survived, actually. So we're going to find out. Got intense, didn't it? Okay, yeah, laptop's ruined, naturally. I'm, I'm impressed it was only in two pieces if it just got nuked. And that he's still alive. Oh dear. You need a print. You need a print, my man. You can't just type hello. Okay, import numpy, import torch. Oh god. This is a whole thing. Right, have we created some crazy code? Hello world. Woo! We got there! <laughs> okay. Hello world. Sending signals. I guess it's like representing the, the internet perhaps. Okay, there's too much code. Beyond my uh, understanding. Okay, data loader looking at loss. Fabulous. And we're back. It is called Yellow. Hello, Yellow. Very nice. 
the end. I assume the end written in binary, not binary, but it was written in digits, which maybe was ASCII, but then converted into the letters. That's my guess. Again, I could probably pause and check this, but I think what happened there was a string of numbers appeared that were the ASCII code for the end, I think. Hey Smiley guys, face. Alan. I hope you enjoyed animation versus coding. Which it's talks? It's a fun challenge to express a new topic. And this is Alan's speaking. voice. If you like learning things without listening to someone talk to you about it, I think you'll like a learning platform called Brilliant. This is a very clever way to do an ad. A lot of time for this. But I think that does mean the end, doesn't it? Yeah. That was fun. <laughs> I feel like I followed more of it than I anticipated. Uh, also, just to say, that is great, as always. Absolute masterpiece. Fair bit of, of maths in there, like the ASCII code, the, the conversions with those numbers. I feel like even as a complete beginner, again, cannot stress enough, I am not a computer scientist. I do not actually know how to code. I am very much learning how to code, right? I just took CS50 myself uh, whilst I was helping to run it. I figured I should take the course. So, but that was really nice. I felt like it mentioned various concepts. It was obviously very fun. Back to the battles, love the battles. Going back to that initial video, animation versus math, fighting with E. So here we are fighting with the laptop. Intrigued by the use of yellow here, yellow stick man. I don't know if it has another name because in all of the other ones, in the math, physics, geometry, we had orange stick man, who I now know is called the second coming. So I wonder if that's on purpose, I assume that's on purpose. I wonder if there's a story there, or maybe this means we're in a different universe with yellow. Because I know for orange, there's this kind of theory that they all link together, especially with the physics being like the wormhole and time travel and the geometry, extra dimension. Feels like there could be a story unfolding with the physics and maths ones. So maybe the idea here was be like, this is a separate story and we're gonna do more computer science and more coding, so let's use yellow. And maybe they're gonna meet That'd be fun, wouldn't it, right? Because computer science fundamentally is just logic. It is just maths. Like under the hood, it's all just logical statements. It's writing things in binary, yes or no, on or off, and then building them up into these complicated algorithms. So we saw a little bit at the end. Again, I'm sure somebody who is into coding, who is a computer scientist can tell me exactly what that final thing was, but it felt like Yellow had figured out how to code something for himself and then had coded all of that and created this like entire window and entire world, um, perhaps. Possibly, maybe it was the beginning of the internet, I don't know. But we did get the Hello World at the end, which I love. Also, big fan of the use of the little talking symbol at the end, that was a fun little insert. Um, so overall, as always, loved it. Really great way to introduce coding to students, right? So much more fun to watch this and try and unpick what's happening, try and follow what's happening than it is to go to an actual lecture, right? So love this as a way of teaching, love the animation, love the story. Hopefully I added some vaguely interesting reaction or insight. Again, mathematician, not computer scientist, very much a beginner when it comes to coding, but lots of you as usual with these, had commented and sent me this video and been like, please react to this. So I hope you enjoyed my reaction. Thank you as always for watching. Thank you to Alan and his team for creating this awesome educational content. Please go and watch the original. If you haven't, go and like the original video so we can encourage Alan to create more of this stuff. That would be amazing. And also if you've enjoyed my reaction, my video, then please do like, subscribe to my channel, Tom Rocks Maths, for lots more maths-based content maybe the odd bit of coding, maybe the odd bit of physics. Who really knows? I find something interesting, I talk about it, and hopefully we all have a good time, as potentially we just did with this video. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.